Hello and uh, welcome to Seoul, to my roof actually. Um, here, I'm back. Here is uh, today's video. Today's video is not a mathematic problem. Today's video is uh, how to make a kind of um, fractal. The word is fractal. Just by cutting paper. Well, you don't need to make a real fractal because fractal technically have no are infinite, and you would have to cut the piece of paper for the rest of your life and even beyond. So here is the fractal we're going to make together. Look at this beauty! Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's just paper cutting. Look at that. Hmm. It also looks a little bit like a mask, so if you're in a in a party where you're disguised, well, you can wear that as a mask and tell people, look at that, this is a, a fractal mask, this is Sir, Sierpinski's mask or whatever. So how can we do that? To do that, you're going to need some paper and some scissors. So here is what I prepared for you. A piece of paper and I put you can draw that by hand I just printed that with my computer it's a table actually it has um, one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten. 16 columns and the double of rows and 16 is not just any number it has to be a power of two so like if you use 16 columns you're gonna you're gonna use 32 rows Mm, and if you use, uh, let's say, 64, 64 columns, you're going to have here 128 rows. You can do that that way also. It's going to work. Even if your paper is square, if it's a rectangle, whatever you use, as long as it's a rectangle or a square, it's going to work. You can use it sideways, you can use it up or down. I'm going to use it this way for this demonstration, but if you use it that way, of course, here you're going to have 16, and here you're going to have 32, and you're going to fold it this way. I am going to fold it that way, because I like it. So the first step is to fold it in two, like this, in halves, and make sure that you write on the guideline, especially if your paper is thick. It's going to look better, but it's, it has to be very precise for that part. So you, you, could, you fold it in half like this. If I am sloppy on this video, don't be alarmed, it's because it's just for demonstration. Mine, you saw it, saw it already and it's not that ugly. Okay. So you folded it half like this. The, the crease is going to be at the bottom. The crease is at the bottom. Let me show you like this. Then, since the crease is at the bottom, you are going to cut it here, half. So to find which one is half, either you count, or you have to fold it quickly like this, and you know where is the half, and you're going to cut it halfway, half. So, here again, so I'm going to cut from here to there. So, let's do it, and let's see what we get. So, it's kind of windy tonight, today, actually today. Maybe it's a night for you who are watching this video, I don't know, whatever. So, you cut it halfway. So, now you have two parts, this part and that part. You have the left part, and you're going to fold it inside. Here, you have to be again very precise, so it's again halfway. So, you fold it on the guideline here, and here exactly where you cut. Here, okay. And only this part. The same for the other. I would say the, the other quarter. I'll 
okay so we got this only on this left part and this this crease is going to be inverted to get inside and you have to be again sure that everything is very square and uh, on the set. so you get this W shape and that's the way it looks now so we have a W shape here and everything and if you if you understand what I do which I'm sure you do you see that you have a rectangle here and you have the same rectangle there those two rectangles are actually very similar so what we're going to do is that we're going to repeat the process so we take this rectangle half of it which is here and cut it half oh since you have two layers actually four layers you I recommend you to cut only to cut only half of the layers at a time like so again to to make sure that you have the best precision in your cutting okay and then you do the same the other side here okay so that's the way it looks of course that's the way it looks now and of course you're going to do the same for this rectangle here the finding the half is getting easy and cut it cutting here four until four is getting very easy okay you can go a little bit further it's not a big deal and what we're going to do is repeat the process as we said we'll repeat the process so you're gonna take those here and you're gonna you can see that pro properly and you're gonna invert them again to make again some W shapes so it looks like this you have now one and two W's here there's nothing to do and here on this part you're going to do the same it's easier because there's only one crease to invert yeah that's right it's very confusing when you're not used to it and even if you're used to it, it can be still confusing. Fold at the half, exactly where you cut through. The crease you had is now inverted and you fold again at the half using the guidelines to make sure you're not going, you're going straight. And that's it. And now if you unfold it, you already have the beginning of what you're looking for. Then you continue because here you have a rectangle, here you have the same rectangle, here you have the same rectangle, and here you have again the same rectangle. Let me pick up the one I made already. I went very, very far, and you can see that at this end, I have lots of W's, and I could actually do it again, but the paper is too thick for that, cutting all again and doubling it each time the rectangles and that's the way it looks when it's folded in two and when you open it does this and um, you could you can also make a 3d shape by putting some glue on this this side take another one which is uh, as on the other side They're, those two sides actually the same and glue them together and make like a cone shape or whatever it might look like pa pyramid actually pyramid shape and um, well, play play with that. Show that to your school, and uh, you can you might also want instead of cutting in three in two here, cut in three, and that's why actually I started with this shape. You you don't cut in two on the edge, but you cut in three, and the central part you put, fold. It's the central part to cut it at half, and the central part to fold it inward. And then you have again two pieces that you're going to cut half, but half of the half that we did before. You might understand what you should understand what I mean. And again and again, and then you get the canter set. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye. See you next time.